we've had insurance all of our married lives until about three years ago. And um, the premiums kept getting higher and higher and higher. And eventually, we had to make a really tough decision. Um, basically, could we uh, afford to put food on the table versus pay for um, insurance? And we felt like we just had to make a gamble. And it was a tough one. It's been very stressful since then. But um, we basically felt that the system was really working against us. And particularly as a small business owner, um, we, we just could not afford it. Because we were putting so much into these premiums, we couldn't take care of our, our ongoing needs. Simple things like prevent, you know, going to the dentist, uh, taking the children to the pediatrician, that kind of thing. Uh, everything had to shift, and so we started going to the public health department and, and making choices where we just didn't get preventative care anymore. Here we go, Mosquito. One year, my son broke his arm. Uh, cost yeah. cost us three thousand dollars for a, just to get a splint on there, and we thought, my gosh, any any minute, you know, if we have an accident, we, we could be ruined. As a farmer, always in the back of your mind is how high a risk this is in terms of accidents. Yeah, and every farmer we know, I can't think of one, not one, that has health insurance. At least one. once every three or four months, a farmer has an accident, and we all get together and say, this person, they don't have insurance. We've got to do something for them. It's a close-knit com community. But we're all limping along, trying to react to a crisis, right? And what farmers need, what small family farms that grow organically and sustainably, what they need is true health care. We, we don't have access to it. None of us do. It's kind of ironic that you know, we want to be part of prevention, but we can't afford it. I mean, we, we can't even get the preventative health care we need. So the only prevention we have is what we grow.